Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you ring counter in this video. So to understand this video based on ring counter, let me explain you the basics which is there regarding ring counter. See ring counter, that is what application of shift resistor, right? So that is what I have mentioned over here. You see ring counter, that is what application of shift resistor. And even I'll explain you how we can make ring counter by using shift resistor. Now see, this counter is bit different compared to uh, the normal counter which we have seen. In normal counter, if you have n number of bits, then total states will be 2 to the power n. But when we talk about ring counter, then number of states that will be equals to number of bits. As well as we can say that is equals to number of leaf law. Now let me explain you first how this is application of shift resistor. So here first I'll draw 4 bit shift resistor. So for 4 bit shift resistor we need to have 4 memory element. So here I am considering 4 D flip flop. So this is my D input D0, D1, D2, D3 and my output is Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Now, see here we are a little bit to connect common clock. So here I will be considering negative age trigger clock with all D flip flop. So you see by bubble I have shown negative age trigger clock and this is what synchronous counter. Right. So here clock will be common for all flip flops. So first I will make a shift resistor. And then I'll explain you how this shift resistor can be used as a ring counter, right? So here, see, to have shift resistor application, all we need to do is we just need to connect these terminals like this. Means output is connected to next of D, output is connected to next of D. See, this is how we are having connection. So this is what shift resistor, right? But in ring counter, there is a little change which we have. See this output of last flip flop that we need to connect at input of first flip flop. So it is forming a ring, right? And if you observe this shift resistor, so previously without this ring, right? So previously without this ring, this was shift resistor and with this shift resistor, data will get shifted in this direction, right? But as if you have ring over here, this data that will get circulated inside. Now, how we need to initiate first state? For that, we need to have overriding input over here. So how to have overriding input? Let us try to understand this. It is quite interesting. So for overriding input, here we have active low signal. Now see this active low signal that we will be connecting at preset of first flip flop. This is my preset terminal. Preset terminal is active low terminal which we have already discussed earlier in video of flip flops. Right. So preset is connected with first flip flop and clear that is what we will be connecting with other flip-flop. So see this overriding input that will insert first one with this flip-flop, right? Like if you observe working of preset terminal, then what it does is it will be making our output one no matter what is other inputs right so when you give active low signal over here it will make output one at q0 and other flip flops are connected with clear terminal that is even active low terminal so when you give active low signal to this flip flop that will result into zero output at q1 q2 and q3 so when you give active low signal at overriding input q0 
क्यू जीरो विल बिकम वन एंड क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री दैट विल बिकम जीरो सो दैट इज हाउ ओवर राइडिंग इनपुट दैट वी आर इंसर्टिंग एंड दिस इज वॉट द बेजिक सर्किट विच इज देर विथ रिंग काउंटर नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दिस बाय टेबल सो बेस्ड ऑन टेबल वन कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड हाउ थिंग्स आर देर सो हियर वी हैव ओवर राइडिंग इनपुट देन वी हैव क्लॉक आफ्टर दैट वी हैव क्यू जीरो क्यू वन क्यू टू एंड क्यू थ्री दीज आर माई आउटपुट्स राइट नाउ सी वेन यू गिव ओवर राइडिंग इनपुट ओवर राइडिंग इनपुट दैट इज एक्टिव लो सिग्नल दैट दैट इज वॉट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू सो वेन यू गिव एक्टिव लो सिग्नल राइट एट द टाइम नो मैटर वॉट इज अवर क्लॉक एंड वॉट आर अवर अदर इनपुट्स आउटपुट ऑफ क्यू जीरो दैट विल स्टे वन एंड आउटपुट ऑफ अदर फ्लिप फ्लॉप क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री विल गेट जीरो राइट सो दिस इज वॉट द फर्स्ट केस विच वी हैव राइट नाउ आफ्टर दैट we need we should not use this overriding input so let us consider overriding input is one for other cases and here we have used negative edge trigger clock over here so by bubble one can see this is what negative edge trigger clock and here triggering will happen at negative edge means falling edge of clock so here we have used negative edge trigger clock so when we have negative edge trigger clock at that time this bits will get shifted right so see this zero that will come here and this one that will come here and this zero that will come here right now when another clock is happening at that time this zero that will come front and this zero that will come here this one will come here and this zero will come here another clock will shift this zero over here and this zero will come here this zero will come here and this one will shifted over here and in another clock you see this one that will come here this zero will will get shifted like this right so this is what application of shift resistor so this ring counter that is what application of shift resistor and see this one that is rotated in ring that's why it is referred as ring counter now here i'll explain you the waveform of this ring counter over here right so if you see our clock then this clock that is happening like this and here we are using negative edge clock so here at negative edge i'm showing transition now here we have overriding input so you see i am connecting overriding input where initially i am just giving one negative pulse so that is my overriding input right and our agenda is to observe what are our outputs q0 q1 q2 q3 so q0 q1 q2 and q3 now you see q0 that will become one once we have overriding input so from here it will become one and once transition happens it will go down like this and in next clock this one that will get shifted over here with q1 and in next clock this one that will get shifted over here with q2 and in next clock this one that will get shifted over here with q3 and in next clock this one that will get shifted with q0 and see now i'm connecting waveform right so see in d flip flop what happens once you give any clock that input will go at output side so after every clock data will shift in this direction so this is technically shift resistor but see by this green color i am connecting a ring so this data will shift in a ring and that shifted data will be as per this overriding input and this overriding input that is making this flip flops output 1 and other flip flops output 0 so that is what we will be rotating inside continuously 
right so that is what the case which is there with ring counter i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video